explain. In this case, in charge, additional chief secretary, Department of Health is present, my lord, and he has taken charge on 14-5-2022 in the evening, my lord. Huh? In, char in charge, additional chief secretary, Department of Health is present, my lord, in the court, my lord, and he has taken charge on 14-5-2022 in the evening, my lord. Yes, who is the principal secretary? Why, sir, there is no assistance, proper assistance from your department? Despite an officer of the level of head of the department uh, last time appeared, when there was a specific direction, who is uh, conversant with the file shall be drafted for the purpose of assisting the state council. Despite that, there is no assistance. I think, sir, uh, the Officer in charge was assisting the council, sir. Hmm, I think. Last time there was no assistance. When uh, the certain uh, uh, dates were asked, uh, they were standing like a rock. That is the way of uh, uh, reading the file. Are you ready with the file? Dates and events? I have already supplied the dates and events, everything to the council, sir. Huh. One copy of the, I have one copy of the dates and events, and also pagination has been done, my lord, in terms of the original record. Name. Yes, what is the matter? Milord, the medical officer... Milord, at the outset, I would submit, Milord, that the, this uh, case requires full-fledged hearing, Milord. So I, will, the, I, will, I will take a full-fledged hearing today. Uh, Milord, so, so I am submitting, so Milord, that this case may be admitted, Milord. Huh? Admitted. It is the discussion of the judge. Milord, you not, uh, uh, of, of course, Milord. You of course. dictate terms. Uh, of course, Milord. Whether it is to be admitted or it, it uh, should Milord, be Milord, 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 that is my submission. Uh, of course, Milord. Your submission is rejected. Yeah. I am sorry, Milord. My Lord, the petitioner is a medical officer who has medical been officer. appointed on 29th of July 1976, Milord. 76? My Lord. Appointed and as a medical officer. Medical officer, Milord. Uh. Thereafter, my lord, uh, in year 2001... Mr. Secretary, you can sit. Pe pe petitioner got sus suspended, my lord, and thereafter dismissed... Suspended on what date? On 30th of March 2001, my lord. 2001? My lord. Ah. Thereafter, my lord, the petitioner was dismissed on 10th of June 2005, my lord. 2005. My Lord. Huh. Petitioner approached this Honorable Court, my Lord, and on 18th of March 2011, my Lord, this Honorable Court pleased to set aside the dismissal order, my Lord, directing that uh, the respondent concerned shall initiate the proceeding afresh within a four weeks by serving the charge memo, my Lord. Huh. But till now, my Lord, they failed to uh, serve the charge memo, my Lord. No article of charge, been, charge has been uh, framed against this petitioner or served to this petitioner, my lord. Mm. Thereafter, my lord, on 17th of January 2012, my lord. Uh, Gen uh, January 2000? 17-1-2012. Huh. In pursuance to the order dated 18th of uh, March 2011, they started a fresh proceeding without serving the charge memo, my lord. They have appointed presenting inquiry officer and presenting officer, my lord. Hmm. Thereafter, my lord, on 17th of February 2012, 
they fixed for examination of evidences and uh, call the petitioner delinquent officer for hearing a lot the petitioner requested time for that he he has a problem in knee and requested that may kindly uh, give the charge memo on 16th of uh, march 2013 my lord nx 11 mm. thereafter my lord on 22nd of january 2014 my lord 22nd 22nd of january 2014 my lord uh. uh the under secretary health department directed to file second so cause my lord mm. the petitioner uh, represented and filed an affidavit that he was not involved in the sale and uh, irregular sale or purchase of the uh, medicines my lord uh, on what date your explanation was uh, 29th of january 2014 my lord uh. thereafter my lord 29th of may 2015 the petitioner was again dismissed my lord mm. and the order of uh, dismissal was communicated on 25th of august august 2017 my lord just a uh, one month uh, before super invasion of this petitioner my lord mm. thereafter petitioner approached the service appeal before the respondent number 2 my lord mm. on 11th of september 2017 my lord Uh, the petitioner sat tightly on the appeal the petitioner approached before this honorable court my lord the again uh, this honorable court directed to dispose of the appeal my lord and in terms of that order uh, and in terms of the, uh, what is in, the date of that order uh, that order is on my lord uh, 9th of february 2018 mm. passed in cwjc number 1535 of 2018 my lord mm. thereafter my lord uh, petitioner filed the contempt petition before this honorable court mm. that is mjc 1618 of 2018 mjc number 1 uh, 1618 of 2018 and only up to save their skin my lord they have passed a perfunctory order on 9th of april 2018 my lord and which is an xr 1 my lord uh, the service appeal of the petitioner has also been uh, rejected my lord and that's uh, there after me lord the petitioner is before this honorable court me lord uh, on what ground you are challenging the second dismissal order dated 29 5 and appellate authorities order dated 9 lord, 2018 no charge memorandum issued to the petitioner me lord no, no opportunity no was given memo. no charge memo issued to the petitioner me lord uh. and no opportunity was given to him Uh, to uh, uh, cross examine the witnesses no list of documents given to him no inquiry report even served to him my lord inquiry report not furnished uh, no my lord there along, is no along with the second show cause notice uh, second show cause they asked to file the second show cause and they they are along with the second show cause notice uh, dated 22 1 by under secretary he has not furnished the copy of the inquiry report uh, no my lord he is uh, the petitioner is confronting this my lord Sir, uh, my lord, uh, uh, the counter affidavit is not disputing any of the uh, averments made by this petitioner, my lord. All right. Only three ground: no charge memo, uh, no opportunity of cross examination, my lord. A copy of the inquiry report not furnished, my lord. Uh, I. further may be permitted to submit that my lord in the view of sur enamel and stamping works limited versus the work uh, huh? in sur enamel and stamping works limited versus workman my lord even uh, if the inquiry report is not given or the inquiry if if we no, assume those are all settled matter my lord yes sir my lord they, then this case may be adjourned for at least one week my lord why my lord so that i i i may be able to prove that the inquiry copy subject of the copy of the inquiry report and subject, subject to payment of cost you tell me how much cost you are ready to pay ask the principal secretary is principal secretary is here yes mr principal secretary sir do you understand the problem now understand sir ha see even today he is not ready this is third time matter is being urgent milord milord i i have tried my best milord no huh? so, but i want to, why i want that that the proof may be given to this correct you should have obtained what is the my previous order 
डेट है ट्वेल्थ फोर टू थाउजेंड फोर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू डिसिप्लिन अथॉरिटी प्रिंसिपल सेक्रेटरी डिपार्टमेंट सो एंड सो इज हियर बाय डायरेक्टेड टू फर्निश कंप्लीट इंक्वायरी रिकॉर्ड्स टू द स्टेट काउंसिल वन ऑफ द ऑफिशियल फ्रॉम द डिपार्टमेंट शेल बी ड्राफ्टेड टू द कोर्ट ऑन द डेट फिक्स सो एज टू एनेबल द ऑफिसर टू असिस्ट द स्टेट काउंसिल इन पॉइंटिंग आउट प्रोसीडिंग्स undertaken by the discipline authority slash inquiring authority on the next date of hearing further on 10/5 2022 principal secretary so and so is hereby directed to appear in person along with complete records despite previous order directing to send a, an officer to assist the state council there is no proper assistance given and given by an officer who has been drafted today we could not assist the state council or state council could not assist this court while giving few dates and events relating to disciplinary action taken against the petitioner therefore release this matter for personal appearance so and so what more you want the judge the copy of the milord in the second time he has filed repl- his reply in the department itself milord where is the charge memo charge memo is at page number uh, 224 of the file of the department proceeding I mean, if charge memo, what is the date of charge memo, Mr. State Council? Milord, thirty one seven two thousand two, Milord. Thirty one. Thirty one seven two thousand two. Ah, by what mode? It has been communicated to the petitioner. Milord, it does not indicate from the original. Huh? It it does not indicate from the original. Therefore, record. one has to presume that it has not been communicated. But he has filed a reply letter on Milord. That reply on what? What is the date of reply? Twenty-second of January two thousand fourteen, Milo. Huh? Twenty-second of January two thousand fourteen. That is twenty-ninth. Twenty-ninth of January two thousand fourteen. That is second show cast notice, Milo. Twenty-nine seven two thousand fourteen. That is second again a second show cast notice. Yes. I am asking you charge memo. charge memo for liberal charge memo uh, on dated uh, 31 7 2002 to uh, yes. how it was communicated to the petitioner assuming that it has been communicated to the petitioner he has uh, uh, not answered to that where is the record maintained by the discipline authority stating that show cause notice uh, charge memo was issued on so and so date he, there is no reply consequently i am appointing inquiring officer and presenting officer where is the record milord it does not indicate from the record milord but in the earlier read milord estate there is a specific statement by the state that the charge memo has been served to the petition show me material then your lordship may call for the records of the earlier Sir, All right, I'll impose exemplary cost of fifty thousand. Mm-hmm. Pay fifty thousand. I will adjourn after vacation. Your lordship may adjudicate this case. Huh? Adjudicate this case today. You will. 
this case may be decided today itself my lord all right i will decide you assist us. show me the charge memo has been served on the petitioner my lord i have tried my best my lord but huh? i have tried my best my lord from the original record but it does not indicate whether charge memo has been so i will allow the petition or not Char i will allow the petition although thereafter the petitioner huh thereafter petitioner filed replied me lord sir so show me the sir please don't give vague answer he has filed reply what is the date of filing reply may i request something sir yes sir uh, i can be given a week's time sir so all right that, subject to payment of cost uh, and the I, cost i will take up this matter after vacation because i had just joined sir uh, i joined on the last day of the week so what i just only it's only you mean to say that you mean to say that i am here sir all right you mean to say that uh, the health department your health department Sir, I am in charge of the health department. All right, till, till all right. You are in charge health department. Health department is depending upon only principal secretary. There is no joint secretary, additional secretary, deputy secretary, section officer Sir. to assist the state council. They had been assisting and everything with that no, was on me. record. Uh, yes, sir. show so, me. I haven't gone through the whole record as such on myself, sir. All so right, I what? would like to take. Uh, all right, who is the next person? Deputy secretary, joint secretary. she is the osd who is doing the she is the osd what is that she is the po designated post of what sir officer in special duty ha huh? uh, sir uh, officer in a special duty sir ha uh, officer uh, on special duty sir uh, on what date you were handled this file uh, sir saturday ko maine gp sahab se discussion kiya tha is pe please tell me in english madam on sir. what date you come to know about this file she had, she had discussed this on saturday with the councils ha huh? on saturday she discussed everything and with the records uh, with the councils ha huh, from the now they, they can immediately point out whether charge memo has been served or not i would request sir uh, uh, just a week's time can be given right, to us no question of week i will grant you one month whole month you examine each and every page i think it sitting will... at home have a round table conference and uh, uh, take out the dates and events for the last three hearing i am asking you two three dates you people are not assisting this court subject to payment of cost you tell me sir principal secretary how much cost your uh, department is uh, ready to pay the last interview you know sir? they because the, if the petitioner is allowed uh, uh, tax payer money is being spent i sir ha huh? this is how the uh, uh, department is functioning the charge memo was issued in 2002 and it was not communicated to the petitioner and the inquiry proceedings commenced in the year 2001 sorry 2002 for the purpose of uh, completion of the inquiry proceedings petitioner was compelled to approach this court on three occasion two writ petitions one contempt petition who are all responsible for this why tax tax payers money is being uh, spent like this 2002 Now, what is the age of the petitioner? Uh, my lord, he is seventy-seventy-two. Uh, my lord, you don't. You people 72. don't mention the age in the uh, cost title. My lord, affidavit. It uh, in affidavit it, it is filed. Now, what And is the age? Earlier, today it is seventy-two. My lord, he, his date of birth is nineteenth of September, nineteen fifty. See, assuming that inquiry matter is remanded, if you are passing any order. can you dismiss him from service yes uh, then no, tax payer money is spent on uh, spent on him he is entitled to all service benefits monetary benefits 
I mean, given three you, days you time. Require decade, you, are, you require decade to complete the inquiry proceedings. And that too, there are three orders of this court, two in repetition, one in content matter. Is it the way of uh, handling the discipline proceedings? That too against a class one officer. All right, tell me how, how much cost you are paying. Now, since I joined only uh, three days back, sir, and it was all holidays, so I would request I may be given a few days' time, and uh, we'll find out as to. You know, uh, from uh, Saturday onwards, uh, one month vacation, summer vacation. So two, three days can be given, sir. In the... No, correct. You want me to sit in the uh, during vacation for you uh, on your request. Maybe on Thursday or Friday, if it is. All right, subject to payment of cost. Thursday. I, I request sir, that cost can be. Waived no also. question of waiver of cost. Please don't ask. Yes, take down. Matter heard at uh, at length. Petitioner was appointed on 29/7/1976 as a medical officer on certain allegation allegations. He was placed under suspension on 30th March 2001. Please stop. And uh, sorry, inquiry uh, inquiry proceedings were initiated. And the uh, petitioner was dismissed from service on 10-6-2005. Full stop. Feeling aggrieved by the order of dismissal, petitioner approached this court. Full stop. This court allowed the petitioner's appeal, uh, uh, writ petition, on 18-3-2011 and reminded the matter for initiation of a fresh inquiry first up. The official respondents were stated to have initiated inquiry in framing charges on 31-7-2002. However, copy of the charge memo, comma, article of charge, uh, statement of imputation, comma, list of documents and uh, list of witnesses were not furnished to the petitioner and it is a disputed fact whether it was uh, served on the petitioner or not as on today the official respondents are not in a position to appraise this court in pointing out with reference to a original record as to whether petitioner was communicated with the child memo dated 31 7 2002 or not. To stop assuming that petitioner was served on th served with the charge memo accompanied by statement of imputation, comma list of documents and list of witnesses. If uh, petitioner has failed to submit his explanation in that event, the discipline authority was required to record that on on a particular date show cost notice was issued slash charge memo and there is no explanation of the petitioner in the result the inquiry the discipline authority proceeded to appoint inquiring officer and presenting officer on 17 1 2012 first of on two dates uh, on one or two dates the inquiry was stated to have been conducted on 17 2 2012 Thereafter, petitioner is stated to have submitted an application seeking a charge memo on 16-3-2013 and it was not provided to the petitioner. Full stop. Abruptly, on 22-1-2014, show cause notice was issued by the Under Secretary of the Department. However, it was not accompanied by inquiring officer's report which is one of the mandatory requirements under Rule 18 of the VR Government Servants CCA Rules 2005. The petitioner has submitted explanation on 29-1-2014. Thereafter, once again, petitioner was dismissed on 
29.5.2015 and it was communicated after a long gap of uh, nearly uh, more than three years that is on 25.8.2017 who is stop feeling aggrieved and dissatisfied with the order of the dismissal petitioner preferred appeal before the appellate authority and it was a uh, appellate authority on 11/9/2017 and it was not decided to stop there after petitioner was compelled to approach this court in filing a writ petition and uh, seeking a direction to consider his appeal before the appellate authority such a petition was allowed on 9/2/2018 with a time bound direction to pass order on the petitioner's appeal by the appellate authority however appellate authority did not act on the directions of this court whereby sorry police are thereby compelled the petitioner to file contempt petition namely mjc and during pendency of uh, contempt petition the appellate authority passed an order on 9/4/2018 First of, thus, the petitioner has presented this petition in questioning the dismissal as well as the appellate authority's order. First of, the petitioner has raised three grounds. Uh, sorry, petitioner has contended as follows: charge memo was not a uh, charge memo was not uh, issued. and he was not given an opportunity of cross examining the witnesses in the enquiry conducted by the enquiring officer it is further submitted that enquiring officer's report was not furnished along with the second show cause notice issued by the under secretary dated 22/1/2014 please stop next paragraph at this juncture this court questioned the uh, posed a question to the learned counsel for the state in the presence of the principal secretary of health department as to whether charge memo dated 317002 was communicated to the petitioner or not to stop from the records the learned state counsel submitted that there were no material as to whether charge memo dated 317002 has been communicated to the petitioner or not so also there is no noting relating to communication and there is no response from the petitioner please stop at this stage learn counsel for the petitioner sorry our state as well as the principal secretary seeks time to ascertain further materials as to whether petitioner was provided show cause notice slash charge memo dated 317002 comma enquiring officer's report was furnished sorry petitioner was provided opportunity of cross examining the witness and copy of the enquiry report was made available to the petitioner along with the second show cause notice dated 221 or not please stop in this matter sufficient time has been spent from time to time at the behest of the state respondent matter is being adjourned from 124 2022 to 105 2022 and from and to this day to stop despite providing all these opportunity the state respondents have not are not assisting this court properly please stop therefore matter is urgent to thursday at the request of the principal secretary subject to payment of cost of rupees 20000 cost shall be remitted in the bihar state legal yes, service authority patna high court list this matter thursday Mr. Yes, yes, yes. Milord, this case may be decided today itself, Milord. Huh? 
this case may be to uh, decided today itself, my lord. At this stage, the council for the state submitted that the matter, is, uh, matter may be decided uh, today itself in order to overcome the cost imposed. Full stop. Thus, uh, the following order. Full stop. There is a uh, totally non assistance from the state department in providing material information as to whether petitioner has been provided opportunity like uh, issuance of a show cost notice dated 31 7 2002 comma petitioner was provided cross uh, provided opportunity of cross examination and further inquiring officers report has been provided to the petitioner along with the second show cost notice or not Therefore, this court has drawn inference that there is a non-compliance to the non-compliance to Rule 17 of Rules 2005. Rule 17 reads as under <coughs> Further There is a non-compliance to Rule 18 to the extent that petitioner has not been provided copy of the inquiring officer's report along with the second show cost notice slash uh, second show cost notice even the milord further it is to be noted that appellate authority has not taken note of section uh, uh, rules 27 rule 27 reads as under So, next five. It is to be noted that this is the second disciplinary proceedings initiated against the petitioner on the alleged allegations, as is evident from the earlier orders of this court dated 18/3/2011, by which this court has set aside the order of dismissal dated 10/6/2005. Full stop. In order to initiate and complete the inquiry proceedings. The respondents have taken more than more than a decade, and that apart, for the purpose of conclusion of the discipline proceedings, the petitioner was compelled to approach this court on three occasions, including a contempt proceedings. Despite these facts and circumstances, the official respondents have not mended their ways in, in terms of uh, Rules 2005 in complete the inquiring proceedings. Full stop. In the light of uh, these facts and circumstances, the petitioner has made out a prima facie case so as to interfere with the impugned order dated so and so by the next year so and so accordingly they are set aside with the cost of rupees 25,000 cost shall be remitted in the state Bihar legal service authority first of cost has been imposed having regard to the attitude of the department from the date of from the inception cost that is the framing of charges on that is a alleged to have uh, framed the charges on 31-7-2002 till imposition of a penalty of dismissal for the second time on 29-5-2015 and further such a dismissal order was communicated to the petitioner after three years and few months thereafter petitioner's appeal was not decided within the reasonable period of time and he was compelled to file a writ petition 
and it was decided on 9-2-2018 with a specific direction that the appeal is required to be decided within a reasonable period of time. Despite that, there was an inaction on the part of the disciplinary authority, sorry, appellate authority in not deciding the petitioner's appeal within the time limit stipulated by this court. In the result, the petitioner filed a contempt petition and contempt, during pendency of the contempt petition, the appellate authority has passed the order to stop. In the light of these factual aspects, this court feels that cost is required to be imposed on the state department. The cost shall be remitted within a period of one month from the date of receipt of this order. My Lord, since it is a wrongful termination, my Lord, may I be uh, well the uh, back wages, my Lord, as I am not being paid, my Lord. You are not in worked. Fact, you are not entitled to back I, wages. I, I have worked till 2017, my Lord. Hmm. We are, uh, be, uh, only after the communication of the dismissal order, they have dismissed, my Lord. Hmm. Till the dis, uh, communication of dismissal order, I have worked, my Lord. Up to 2017, you worked. My Lord. And uh, now you are and not being Just paid for before month of superannuation, my Lord, they have uh, dismissed. No, up to what date? Uh, up you have worked. Uh, up till 25th of August 2017, my Lord. And my retirement was uh, in uh, uh, September 2017 itself, my Lord. No, you, you worked up to 24th, 8th, 2017. 25th of uh, 8th, 2017, my Lord. The uh, appointing authority slash uh, discipline authority to the petitioner is hereby directed to examine whether petitioner is entitled to arrears of salary up to 25-8-2017. The date on which dismissal order dated 29-5-2015 was communicated. In this regard, necessary calculation shall be made and paid to the petitioner if the petitioner is not entitled to salary during the intervening period, in this regard, necessary speaking order should be passed with reference to a relevant rule. So also, So also, Rule 21 of the Rules 2005 relating to communication of orders, such a decision shall be taken within a period of two months. Milord, the order of avoiding cost may be deleted, Milord. Huh? Order of avoiding cost may be deleted, Milord. Why? Lord. You have given great assistance, is it? No, 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 I am sorry. If you Lord. still uh, argue the matter, the cost will Lord, be increased. Lord, 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 Lord. You want? And there is one more prayer, my Lord. In place of principal secretary, there should be in charge principal All right, secretary. You make correction. In charge, uh, you take his name. Rajesh, Lord, I, I am relying on the Supreme Court order on the Department. For what purpose? For uh, in full termination. Huh? Full termination. No, back wages is for which period? Uh, for the entire period, my lord. Huh? Since the dismissal 2005, my lord, I, I was... No, you have worked up to 2017, no. You have worked up to 25 8, 2017. But the salary was not paid to me, my no, lord. No, I have given direction. My lord. In the time frame, my lord. Time also fixed, two months. Obliged. Yeah. 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 Yeah.